سلام علیکم انشالله که حال احوال شما خوب باشه سلامت باشید Thank you Omar uh, I hope you are well and uh, have and uh, good health inshallah uh, okay now uh, today I'm going to talk about the partitioning and some uh, aspects of partitioning um, you know uh, this concept is a uh, Star is started from previous week, and now I'm I'm going to continue this uh, the, this concept. Um, uh, the, the partitioning uh, is mean uh, when uh, we have a huge data and uh, we are going to uh, divide data into some parts. Uh, uh, the partitioning is introduced for this uh, for this uh, operation. Um, okay um, there are some aspect uh, about partitioning and uh, in the previous uh, week uh, I talk about uh, I talk about the uh, the, uh, the combining of partitioning and application uh, and talk about uh, this method and after that um, the partitioning uh, can, uh, can do by uh, key value data there are different methods uh, for uh, partitioning partitioning by key range, partitioning by hash of key uh, okay, uh, so uh, firstly, uh, partition of key, key value data is introduced. Um, we are going to partitioning uh, uh, to divide data into um, uh, some part uh, fairly. Um, uh, we need to have some parts uh, uh, with the uh, same size or similar size uh, okay so partitioning should spread the load evenly uh, if it's unfair we call it uh, a skew and uh, so uh, there are uh, we need appropriate method to partition data into uh, similar uh, into similar size uh, okay. Uh, another definition is it uh, a partition with, uh, with disproportionately high load is called hot spot, and uh, we need to uh, avoid uh, existence of, of, of hot spots. Uh, okay, so uh, we need to use appropriate methods. Uh, to spread the load evenly uh, one method is uh, assign record to uh, partition uh, randomly but uh, uh, when we want to uh, find uh, uh, you know uh, each partition a store in different matching uh, okay so when we want to find appropriate records uh, the query, uh, the read query should send to all uh, matchings, and uh, it uh, it method increase the the load of uh, the load of uh, the load of network, the load of systems. Okay, so. Um,
uh, I'm sorry, I, uh, I'm disconnected temporarily. Uh, okay, I say you that, uh, uh, okay, so uh, another method uh, is introduced, uh, which is called partitioning by key range. Uh, in this method, uh, the and data are assigned to uh, or, or da data mapping uh, is done by using appropriate rules uh, you can see uh, similar to the uh, dictionary um, uh, the data divided bet between some, pa uh, some partitions uh, but uh, there is a rule uh, for mapping uh, a print encyclopedia is uh, partitioned by key range uh, yes in this figure you can see uh, a print encyclopedia is partitioned by by key range between some uh, between some partitions and so according to this rule uh, each partition can assign to uh, one match uh okay and there are not necessarily even a space so the partition boundary need to adapt uh, to the data uh this is another notation that we can see in this slide uh okay so uh, i think uh, is it clear for you uh, how we can use uh, the partitioning by key range value so you can see in this figure uh, uh, according to the uh, to the range uh, the range of key and we can partition uh, the uh, we can uh, 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 specify um, appropriate partition for each uh, record for each key uh, in this method uh, okay, so uh, this technique is used, uh, used uh, by Bigtable, HBase, uh, Routine DB, and also earliest version of MongoDB. Uh, again, these uh, distributed database using uh, uh, this technique, partitioning by Q range. Um, yeah, you know, uh, range scan is easy by using this method. Range scan is so easy. Uh, uh, keep keys in uh, in sorted order, and uh, for for example, we can use uh, uh, concatenated indexes uh, like year, month, day, hour, minute, second. Um, you know, uh, for each query uh, which are which is sent to the machine, we we can uh, find we can uh, specify uh, this uh, this in index. Uh, to uh, to this, to specify appropriate uh, partition for each record, uh, but uh, uh, this technique uh, may lead to hotspot. How uh, how this uh, hotspot can be uh, can be occur uh, occur uh, by using this method? Uh, you know. Uh, Um, sometime, uh, sometimes, sometimes uh, uh, it's possible. Uh, for example, uh, uh, the timeline in uh, in a day, uh, we can uh, divide the timeline in the, in the day into some parts. Uh, for example, uh, between uh, uh, one o'clock, uh, for okay, okay, before one o'clock to uh, 6 o'clock uh, you know uh, in this uh, period of time many people uh, many people are sleeping and uh, usually uh, uh, they uh, don't use uh, Systems uh, website, okay, and 
uh, or and uh, the database uh, a bit okay before for example seven o'clock but after seven o'clock uh, you know uh, usually uh, uh, people uh, uh, go to the uh, Uh, people working uh, people are working and um, usually they need to uh, use uh, they, they try to use different systems okay so the database uh, used by uh, many users uh, in this uh, in this period of time uh, okay and and we can divide the uh, the timeline of day uh, into some part sometimes uh, user Uh, unfortunately only four students four students are in class okay so um, uh, I think that uh, it's better for us um, to wait for them about uh, also and uh, also you know uh, the clock is uh, 10 uh, 15 and uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, it's amazing that we can uh, we don't see uh, the other student class at this time. Uh, uh, okay, so I say you. Um, and when uh, we divide the timeline of a day into some parts, sometime um, in uh, in uh, some parts, many people, uh, many users are, are are going to use database. Some uh, sometime uh, the number of users of database is so is so low. Uh, okay, so um, and when we uh, a partition data by key range uh, and if we use uh, this index uh, or similar to this index uh, to the year, month, day, hour, a minute, uh, seconds uh, okay the, the, the data which is stored uh, into the partition can, uh, can be different some partition uh, uh, can uh, be hot spot and some partition uh, because uh, it's uh, uh, um, uh, a small amount of data okay so another method uh, is introduced uh, which is called hash of key uh, in this technique uh, uh, we need to use uh, hash function uh, to uh, specify a doctor the rely on the time time stamp on the index because we were able to fetch the data easily yes Omar yes thank you uh it's uh it's right but it's not uh, uh it, it can it is technically can use uh can uh, cause a uh, hot spot because uh, you know i see uh, i say you that uh, uh in some period of time in some period of time uh, 
the number of users which use database is so uh, high, higher than the number of users in some previous time, previous part, times. Uh, for example, uh, I say you that uh, uh, after the seven o'clock, the number of users which uh, which uh, try to uh, change DB to use DB is uh, very more than the number of users in previous seven o'clock between, for example, two o to uh, uh, seven a.m. Uh, it's uh, so different. Uh, okay, so. Um, in this technique, uh, it's possible that we have some partitions with, uh, with uh, uh, high load and some part partition with a low load. Uh, okay, so it's not uh, appropriate for us. And so another technique uh, is introduced, uh, uh, which is called uh, partitioning uh, which is called partitioning by hash of keys uh, in this technique uh, uh, we need uh, we need to use uh, hash for hash function uh, uh, the hash function uh, can uh, uh, is is it uh, it's a function that uh, uh, that convert the string uh, to a number and uh, it use uh, it can be a, a random number, uh, but uh, uh, usually it use uh, a uniform uh, uniform distribution uh, between some parts. Uh, okay, for so according to this example, uh, for example, uh, the hash function. We can uh, give the hash function a new string. Yes, you can see this uh, string consists of the year, month, the months, uh, day, and time. Okay, it's a timestamp, and uh, the hash function convert this timestamp uh, is uh, to a uh, to a random number, a uniform random number. Uh, between uh, okay in this figure uh, uh, between 0 and 2 uh, power 32 minus 1 uh, uh, you know uh, this uh, um, uh, we need uh, uh, you know uh, 4 bytes 4 bytes uh, are used uh, to, uh, to store this uh, the value but uh, in this figure, you can see only two bytes. Uh, uh, two bytes are demonstrated, only two parts. Uh, okay, in these two bytes can, uh, can be the first bytes. Uh, okay, uh, so uh, for example, uh, the data, when the data, when the uh, generated data is between 0 and uh, uh, 16, uh, uh, 383. Uh, these uh, data, these uh, data um, should store in the partition uh, one. And when the de when the generated data is between uh, 16 to 32, uh, about uh, 16,000 uh, uh, to 32,000, uh, uh, the data uh, should store uh, in the partition two. And when the data is between uh, 32,000 and uh, 49,000, the data should store in partition three. Okay, so um, again, uh, by using this technique, uh, uh, by using the hash function, uh, the hash function uh, receive uh, a string and generate uh, a random number, uh, but it use uh, a uniform distribution to uh, to generate the, the random number again uh, when uh, the random number when the uh, the output of uh, the output of uh, hash function is between zero and um, uh, about uh, sixteen thousand uh, the data should store 
for example the data should store in partition one Uh, when the data, when the generated data is uh, between uh, 60,000 and 32,000, uh, okay, so uh, the data uh, should store in partition 2. And similar uh, to uh, to them, okay, the data can store in partition three and partition uh, four. And don't forget that the hash function can receive a string value and generate uh, a number, uh, a number, uh, okay, which is uh, in this. Uh, uh, which is uh, which is in this interval uh, okay so uh, don't forget that uh, um, in this uh, figure uh, we can see uh, the first uh, two bytes of MD MD5 hash function. Uh, the MD5 hash function is uh, uh, so uh, common hash function which are used in database in uh, encoding encoding the information. Uh, okay, so it's called the partition by hash of code. Is uh, is it clear for you? Can you understand? this technique Uh, okay. Uh, um, you can see uh, some uh, consecutive uh, data, consecutive da con consecutive uh, data. Uh, uh, for example, uh, please uh, 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 pay attention to. Uh, the the, uh, the values of this string data uh, 10 minutes uh, 11 minutes uh, oh, sorry second 10 second uh, 11 second 12 second 30 second uh, there are uh, some consecutive data yes but these data uh, are stored in different partition in different partition uh, the first data is stored in partition, for example, one, but the second one is stored in the partition two. The third one is is, is uh, stored in partition four. Uh, uh, so this is it can be uh, um, appropriate method uh, to uh, spread data between some uh, some uh, some partition uh, partitions fairly and evenly, uh, but uh, uh, but uh, it has um, uh, the disadvantage some disadvantage. Uh, for example. Uh, when uh, we want to uh, uh, store the scores, the grades of uh, uh, students in one class, okay? It's an example. 
okay uh, this uh, there are some uh, consecutive consecutive data uh, which uh, consists of the, uh, the grades of uh, students of one class um, okay these data can store in different partitions and um, in the read query when uh, we uh, when we want to uh, 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 execute the read query to uh, to get the scores, the grades of uh, students in, a, in in one class. Um, this query should send to um, some partitions, not only one partition, and it's not appropriate because and this uh, load uh, spread between uh, some partitions and uh, okay different partition. Uh, um, should uh, participate uh, to uh, and to produce appropriate output for this query and uh, okay it's not appropriate method uh, because sometimes we need to store uh, some related uh, some related data some consecutive data into one partition because the main read query need, uh, sometimes it uh, uh, it need to send uh, uh, to get all um, um, uh, some the data which have a similar uh, characteristics uh, okay so uh, uh, okay please uh, to see this uh, slide partition by hash of key uh, by using hash of key for par uh, for partitioning we lose we lose uh, uh, we, uh, we lost uh, a nice property of key range partitioning. We lost uh, a nice property of key partitioning because uh, ap uh, the appropriate uh, property uh, of uh, key range value is efficient range query. Efficient range query when when uh, when uh, we need to. Uh, execute a range query for example that get the scores uh, get grades of a students in one class uh, it's not good because the data can spread between some matches and any range query any range query should send to all partitions any range query should send to all partitions uh, okay, so a compromise between uh, the two partition strategy uh, can be used. Uh, not only the hash of key or uh, the key range value. Okay, we can um, uh, use a combined method, uh, a compromise between uh, the two partition strategies. Uh, and this technique uh, used by Cassandra, Cassandra database. Uh, a compound primary key, a compound primary key consisting of several columns. Uh, only the first part of that key is hashed to determine the partition. Uh, the other columns uh, are used as a, a concatenated index for sorting the data in CAS and ROS SS tables. Um, okay, okay, for example, um, uh, the first key, uh, the first, uh, uh, okay, uh, in this technique, uh, we can use uh, uh, consists, uh, consisting of several columns as primary key. Okay, some columns can be used to specify, uh, to specify uh, the appropriate partitions. Uh, for example, um, in this serve, uh, several courses uh, are introduced in Imam Baza University and uh, okay uh, for each course uh, we can use uh, uh, we can use uh, unique ID to, to uh, specify each course in this term and we can use this uh, uh, this uh, key value um, and using uh, uh, the hash function to specify which partition okay please consider that we have uh, several uh, several partitions in among uh, in among university because uh, the data 
uh, need to uh, spread between some partitions because of the number of students and uh, some other reasons. Uh, okay, so in this uh, state, uh, we can use um, the course ID uh, to specify to specify uh, the partition. Okay, so each course can, uh, according to the ID, can store uh, can store in different partition. Okay, so in this technique, uh, the course uh, spread uh, between some partition, means be between all partitions, and also uh, the and the uh, information of all the students in each course uh, can stored in only one partition okay so when uh, I, I'm going to when I'm going to uh, uh, check uh, the uh, my students grades uh, for each uh, uh, for each uh, for each course uh, my read query can send to a different partition but uh, the information of all the students in each class uh, are stored in only one partition, not some partitions. Uh, is it clear for you? Can you understand me and uh, this example that I talk about this? Uh, can you get it? Omar and Ibrahim, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay, uh, can, uh, can you visualize something that I see for you? Can you visualize uh, this example that I talk about uh, Imam Raza University and when we have some partitions and we are going to divide uh, the information of all courses into uh, all partitions and I talk about the course ID and I say you that uh, each course ID uh, can uh, for, we can use uh, a different uh, a hash function to specify appropriate partition for each course okay so when we have when I have uh, some courses when I have some courses uh, okay each the information of each course can can sort in one partition okay the first course can be the partition one the second course in, it can sort in the partition two and after that I say you the information of all the student in uh, in each course uh, I'm going to store the information of all a student in each course in only one partition. And can you visualize it? Can you understand it? Uh, Uh, okay, SQ workload. Now I'm going to talk about the SQ workload. Uh, thank you, Omar. Uh, unfortunately, Abraham and Abraham don't answer me, and also Ahmed Shaid uh, is added to class now. Uh, and, uh, today is amazing for me. This class with this number with these students because I, I prefer I I. I, I uh, I expect more than this student in each class, not only three students. Uh, okay, a school, a school workload. Now I'm going to talk about the school workload. Uh, uh, hashing. Uh, hashing a key, relieve and reduce other spot. Yes, hashing a key, relieve and reduce other spot. Because uh, by using the hash function, the, 
the data, the consecutive data can start in different partitions. Okay, so uh, this, uh, this technique can um, uh, spread the load evenly between some partitions. Again, uh, I, I should say you that uh, uh, the SQL, uh, the um, hashing a key, uh, hashing a key really and reduce hot spot. But all uh, all read and write may belong to the same key. Uh, all read Cassandra system achieve a compare. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, unfortunately, uh, my internet connection is cutting uh, is uh, cut off again. Uh, and this is a com uh, composite primary consists of several columns. The first part is hash to identify the partition, and the other columns are used as a sequential index to search the data. Uh, yes, Omar. Yes, is it? Uh, it's uh, it's right. Surely, yes. Absolutely, it's correct. Yes. Uh, 
uh, you're welcome another uh, uh, reason to uh, which can uh, cause uh, different loads for partition is uh, okay I'm going to uh, say one example uh, about the school workload uh, we know the hashing a key relieve and reduce re reduce hotness, but we need we need uh, we, uh, we know. But uh, sometime sometime it's possible that all write all read and write uh, may belong to the same key, like social network, for example. You know, uh, I have a page in Instagram, and uh, okay with uh, limited. Uh, follower uh, but also uh, uh, you know many pages in the Instagram uh, have many followers for example the, celebra the celebrity users in the Instagram uh, again similar to me uh, they have one page but these uh, two values are different because the number of followers in my page is so different with the number of followers in uh, a celebrity page. And you know, okay, I post, for example, uh, something in Instagram. And again, similar to me, one uh, celebrity uh, post. Uh, uh, something in, in uh, Instagram they, they are similar to each other but it's so different because uh, you know many read requests many read requests are sent from followers of the followers of a celebrity uh, to uh, check something that uh, are posted by the celebrities not by me it's they are so different uh, so, uh, and there is uh, uh, something uh, it, uh, we need to use some appropriate rules uh, uh, to uh, divide data between some partitions uh, according to these, uh, according to, to the number of read and write, and we need to divide. Uh, uh, the, the, uh, uh, spread uh, the read and write query between all partitions not only this uh, the, which uh, one partition you know the read and write uh, if the number of read and write uh, which sent to the uh, one partition is uh, um, is so high uh, the partition uh, can uh, uh, the uh, can uh, can convert to the hotter spot can uh, change uh, the, the, uh, the change of the partition can uh, the state of partition can change to the hotter spot uh, uh, okay so now uh, it's application responsibility it's application responsibility and to reduce a highly skew, a highly uh, skew workload, uh, possible solutions possible solutions require additional uh, bookkeeping. Okay, so the application is responsible to uh, uh, divide uh, the information which. Uh, uh, which or uh, which uh, uh, are high demand I can see uh, uh, which Okay, between some partitions. Okay. Uh, can you understand uh, this uh, challenge? Omar, can you understand? Uh, 
eat asir ibrahi Uh, what uh, do you mean by a hot spot? Hot spot is a note, is a note, uh, with, is a note with high loads, with high load or high value, high uh, data. Please uh, see these uh, uh, sentences. A partition with disproportionately high load is called hot spot high load okay this load uh, can be data which which uh, can, which are stored in the partition or can be the number of uh, the number of read and write uh, query which are sent to the uh, uh, to the partition yes yes uh, is it all it's overloaded partition yes And this challenge, this uh, uh, this challenge, uh, should managed by application. Uh, I'm welcome. Now I'm going to talk about the partitioning and secondary indexes. Partitioning and secondary indexes. Uh, it can uh, we can some databases. Uh, utilize the secondary indexes and the secondary uh, indexes can be by document and by ter and some partitions as uh, some uh, databases don't use secondary indexes the, the secondary indexes can't help us can help uh, uh, database uh, to uh, sometime and to uh, perform sub read query uh, the read query uh, with higher speed, with more throughput. Uh, okay, I I say you that the partition as secondary index can can be by term and can can be by document. I'm going to say two example of using by term and by document. Uh, a secondary index is not unique. Is the sec this a secondary index is not unique. Uh, some database such as HBase avoid secondary indexes, and uh, some databases such as React started adding adding uh, the secondary indexes uh, to uh, to itself, and uh, mm, they uh, don't map neatly to partition. Uh, we can use a two type document based partitioning and term based partitioning both. Uh, technique can be used for secondary indexes. Um, okay, first uh, I'm going to uh, to uh, uh, to uh, talk about the partition secondary indexes by document. Firstly, to talk about this uh, type uh, partition secondary indexes by document. Uh, okay, so in this figure you can see uh, uh, in each partition some uh, records are stored and uh, there is a primary key index. The primary key index can be an ID, for example, uh, this ID uh, 191. 214, uh, 306, and this information, uh, color, uh, these uh, these uh, information is uh, about uh, some cars, uh, and uh, the location of this card, and some information about this card. For example, the color, the color is red. The the uh, the car is.
uh, I'm sorry uh, today uh, my internet connection uh, is disconnected sometimes okay so I change my internet connection um, I talk about the partition secondary indexes by document I say you um, the data of some cars are stored in the partition zero and the data of some other parts um, other cars uh, are, are stored in the partition one the primary key is uh, uh, illustrated by some numbers 191 uh, 214 uh, okay and the, in the another partition uh, and the primary key is uh, 515 uh, 768 okay and uh, otherwise uh, but uh, in in this uh, I say you that the different secondary indexes can be used um, uh, and this info uh, this information uh, help us to find uh, uh, something some records which uh, high throughput okay for example the secondary indexes in this uh, slide uh, uh, is uh, the second this is partition by document um, uh, uh, for example about the color and about the make the color is black um, okay you can see the color black uh, is uh, only it uh, 200 uh, 214 this uh, uh, ID uh, is related to the color black uh, color red is uh, 191 and uh, 3 uh, 100 zero and color color uh, color yellow oh, uh, there is nothing uh, and also about the uh, make uh, Dodge, uh, Ford, and uh, Honda. And also in another partition, the information about uh, some records uh, which are stored in the partition one is stored as a uh, are stored in the se as secondary indexes. Uh, for example, uh, there is no uh, there is uh, no car which a color black in in the partition one okay so the color black is empty and this uh, this set is empty uh the color uh, red uh, uh there is uh, only one record which uh color red and for color silver and also for the uh for the make uh make audi ford or volvo these three, three company uh, and there is uh, the, uh, these three company uh, there are some information some records in the partition one uh, which uh, uh, is specified that the Audi Ford and Volvo um, uh, have uh, have some uh, cars uh, which uh, are stored in this partition okay don't forget and uh, pay attention in this uh, uh, categorize categorization um, for each partition the secondary indexes uh, as, as, as specify uh, as specify uh, distinguish so um don't forget that the secondary index in partition uh, zero is about some records which are stored in the partition zero and the secondary indexes uh, in partition one is about some information some records which uh, are stored in partition one so uh, for example when uh, there is a user which uh, is looking for a red car and this grid query should send to all partition to partition zero and partition uh, and partition uh, one uh, to check uh, which uh, cars um, 
which cars have uh, the red color. Uh, okay, uh, this is one technique uh, uh, which is called parts and second indexes by document by document. Uh, don't forget that, uh, for example, the red, uh, uh, the red, uh, the information of uh, cars with red color uh, can be a store, maybe a store in all partitions. And uh, the user uh, should check them uh, to find uh, the information of red car. Uh, set query to all partition and combine all the, all the result. It is widely used. But another uh, technique is uh, partition in secondary indexes by term. Uh, in this technique, uh, the, the secondary indexes uh, are spread between some machines, but by its by term. Uh, for example, the information of uh, the number of records uh, with uh, uh, with black color, the, with black color, are only are only stored in one uh, partition, not all partitions. Uh, the information of red red color. Uh, is a store again only in the partition zero, not all partition. And uh, the information of silver color of and the yellow color uh, are stored in another partition, in partition one. Uh, uh, Omar Ali asked a question. It, uh, he said that uh, is. Uh, here a uh, released uh, a unique identifier between section and another section uh, so we need a secondary indexes for example on the color um, Omar at uh, the secondary indexes okay help us to find uh, some information quickly um, for example in in the previous slide and when uh, when we need um, the information of uh, cars with uh, with red color, okay, we can use uh, these uh, the second indexes. The second indexes uh, show us uh, which records uh, consist of the uh, information of of cars with red color. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, uh, but uh, the uh, what is the difference between the uh, using by term and by category uh, in by term by document uh, in, when we use uh, partition in secondary indexes by term uh, the information of red and black for example color are stored in one partition and the information of silver and yellow are stored in the, another partition in other partition okay so uh, for example, when the user wants to looking for a red color, this query uh, should not send, uh, uh, may not, uh, should not send to uh, all partitions, to all partitions to get uh, which records uh, consist of the information of red color, uh, red color cars. And um, uh, this uh, query should send only to one partition because uh, the partition zero consists of uh, red color cars. Uh, okay, so uh, this uh, the number of records uh, which consists of this information uh, can be obtained by uh, uh, by secondary indexes, and after that uh, the user uh, can send uh, uh, um, uh, its request uh, to the partition which consists of these records. Uh, 
Uh, okay, Omer, can you get it? Can you understand? What is the difference between the partition secondary indexes by term and by document? Other students, Ibrahim, Asir, Ahmad, can you get it? What is the difference between by term and by document? Okay, uh, it's appreciated for me. Uh, don't forget that uh, secondary indexes by term uh, is a uh, there is a global index uh, partition over the nodes uh, and reads uh, are more efficient reads are more efficient but the write but the write are slower and complicated yes because for each write for example uh, if uh, for example if uh, the information of one uh, uh, one car is added to partition one uh, okay um, the secondary indices must be complete uh, for this uh, for this uh, uh, for this record and uh, you know uh, for example a red car if a red car is uh, added to the partition one um, uh, and uh, the red car with uh, which uh, is uh, make by Honda uh, okay so some secondary index uh, can be compl can be added to the sec uh, to the partition one, and some secondary indices uh, uh, should uh, uh, should add to the partition uh, zero. Uh, okay, so uh, for each record which is added to the uh, database, which which is added to any partition, and the information uh, about the secondary indexes can be stored in. Uh, in all partitions, in some partitions. Uh, okay, uh, that's enough. Okay, now I am going to talk about another uh, topic: rebalancing, a re rebalancing partition. Uh, it's another challenge of uh, distribution and distributed database uh, rebalancing. Uh, when we have some matchings, uh, some overload matchings, and we want to, uh, when we want to uh, reduce, uh, reduce uh, the load of uh, some matchings, some overloaded matchings. Uh, okay, we uh, we need to use this technique. Uh, different art, uh, strategies uh, are, introdu are introduced for rebalancing. Uh, the rebalancing can be uh, done uh, automatic or manual. Uh, in automatic rebalancing, uh, the rebalancing uh, uh, can uh, uh, perform uh, by software and appropriate algorithms. But uh, in manual rebalancing, uh, there is an administrator, a, a user, a use, uh, which is responsible to uh, uh, to uh, decide about this uh, situation.
Oh, okay. Uh, uh, the database change. Uh, the database change over time. Uh, you know, uh, the query throughput increase uh, uh, and the data set size increase uh, over time. Yes, according to the number of users and uh, the popularity of uh, uh, of an application. Um, its databases uh, change over time. The query throughput increase. The data set, uh, the data set size increase. Okay, sometimes it's possible that much in fail in some situation. Uh, okay, so uh, we need to use rebalancing uh, to um, spread the uh, spread the load uh, between some other matches. Uh, what is the rebalancing? The rebalancing is a process of, is a process of moving load of moving load from one node in the cluster to another. Uh, again, uh, is the process of moving load from one node in the cluster in the cluster uh, to another. Then minimum requirements. The minimum requir requirements for load balancing is. Uh, the load should be uh, the load should be shared fairly. The load the load should be fair should be shared fairly. Um, uh, concurrent uh, to uh, rebalancing and to this um, uh, this process, uh, uh, we need to, uh, to uh, the database uh, is responsible. To continue uh, accepting read and write uh, while uh, rebalancing is happening, while, while rebalancing is happening, and uh, the final requirement is just move data that is necessary. Just move data that is necessary because uh, this is uh, the rebalancing process. Uh, uh, cause extra load uh, for the database as uh, is an uh, extra process and uh, sometimes we need to use rebalancing but it but uh, uh, we prefer to don't use rebalancing because uh, rebalancing uh, cause extra load and when it's necessary when uh, it's necessary uh, uh, we use this technique we, we use this process when uh, there is hot spot when uh, there is overloaded matching, overloaded node. Okay, we need to um, move some uh, load, moving load from some uh, hotspot matching to uh, to another matchings. Uh, okay, uh, is it clear for you? Uh, can you understand what is uh, what is load uh, balancing and when? Uh, we need to use load balancing. Uh, okay. Uh, there are some strategies. Uh, there are some strategy for rebalancing. One technique is assigning partition to nodes uh, by using uh, a hash mod, mod n hash mod n function. Uh, in this technique, uh, according to the number of According to the number of records, number of data which you need to uh, spread between some machines, we can use the this uh, the hash function uh, to specify the appropriate uh, node. Okay, uh, for example, when uh, we have four nodes, okay, uh, for each record uh, related to the uh, to the ID, to uh, related to uh, the ID of each record. Uh, for example, when we have four matchings, okay, um, um, according to the primary key that uh, we use it to uh, specify uh, the uh, the number of partition for each uh, for each record, uh, the hash mode four. Dash function mod four can be used for four uh, match, but uh, when uh, we increase the number of match from, for example, uh, 
uh, when uh, we add new matches okay when we have four uh, four nodes uh, in, in another state we have five nodes okay the, this function is uh, a change uh, before adding the before adding uh, the new nodes the hash mode 4 is used to create to uh, specify uh, the nodes uh, for each record and after adding new matches the hash mode the hash mode 5 is used the hash mode 5 is used to uh, specify uh, the matching number uh, this technique is not uh, appropriate because uh, uh, many uh, records need to change uh, uh, its matching uh, and uh, by using this technique uh, many data uh, should uh, change its location and go to another nodes uh, so if the number of nodes change if there are nodes change most of the key will need to be moved most of the keys will need to be mo moved from one node to another uh, and so we don't use this, sol this solution don't forget don't forget it's uh, it's um, an important notation uh, please pay attention that uh, the hash mode n this function is used to uh, specify uh, the, the matching number, the matching number, or the the node number for each uh, data according to its key. According to its key. Uh, okay, so when uh, the new matching is added or one matching is omitted from uh, from the, the number of matches from all matches uh, okay so uh, many records according to the keys according to this function need to move to uh, different matches and so uh, we don't use this solution uh, Another technique use, uh, is uh, use fixed number of partition. Fixed number of partition. In this technique, uh, uh, instead of um, creating, uh, ins instead of creating uh, the partitions according to the uh, uh, with the same size um, of the number of matches of the number of nodes we create many more partitions that than there are more that are, there, there, are, there are nodes okay for example when we have for example four nodes uh, uh, we don't uh, uh, use only four partition we can uh, we we can have uh, uh, for example, I don't know more than ten partitions, uh, sixteen partitions, too many partitions. Okay, and the number of uh, the number of partition is so greater than the number of nodes. And uh, we assign several partitions, several partitions to each node. Okay, each node can consist of four partitions, five partitions. Uh, okay, so in the case of uh, and add a note a few partition a few partition are moved from every existing note okay uh, for for example when we have uh, when uh, there for there are for example where there are four partition in each note when we add a new note one partition from each one partition from each node can uh, move to the new matches to the new nodes uh, this technique uh, used by react elastic search and coach boys uh, there are some uh, databases which uh, use a fixed number of partitions uh, you can see this technique uh, in this figure uh, for example, we have a four node, node 0, node 1, node 2, and node 3. 
each node consists of uh, five partition five partition these partition are spread uh, between uh, these four nodes and after some time uh, we add a new node node four uh, in this uh, to this set um, okay so uh, some uh, some partition need to change uh, its node uh, from the previous node to the new node uh, okay you can see uh, 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 from each node from each node one partition is selected from each node and uh, is uh, moved uh, to the new node for example in partition in node, uh, the partition 4 from node 0 the partition 9 from node 1 the partition 14 from node 2 and the partition 19 from node 3 uh, are moved to the um, uh, node, uh, node 4 uh, okay, so uh, the first uh, tire is uh, uh, four nodes in cluster and before rebalancing, and the second tire is uh, the five nodes in the cluster after rebalancing. Um, the dash line uh, show uh, the partition remain in the same node. The partition remain in the same node, but the a narrow line is uh, show us that the partition migrated uh, to the uh, to another node. Uh, is it clear for for you, Omar Ahmad Asir Ibrahim? Can you understand? this technique okay thank you that's enough for today um uh, yes inshallah uh, I will continue uh, this concept inshallah in the next session and that's enough for today uh, if uh, do you have any question I'm hearing uh, if you don't have any question we can finish the class now uh, do you have any question You're welcome, Omar. Uh, Asir, do you have any question? I'm waiting. Okay. Uh, okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Uh, thank you. And bye for now, inshallah. Uh, uh, up to next week. Um, you will come and buy. Bye for now. Khoda hafiz shama bashe inshallah salamat bashit khoda nekhtarat.